In this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to type on a path in Photoshop. Now, before I begin with that, I really wanna let you know that if this is something that you're doing a lot of or you need a lot of refinement to be able to adjust the type and how it appears and adjust the path and just make it perfect, Photoshop isn't really your tool. Illustrator is more your tool. However, there are times that it is important that we be able to do things right in the tool that we're in. So if you're in Photoshop and you happen to have a need for this in a graphic design, or maybe you're making memes or any other type of artistic um, multimedia or mixed media artwork, sometimes it's really handy to be able to type on a path in the tool that you're in rather than doing it in Illustrator and bringing it over into Photoshop. Believe me, I did that for many, many years before Photoshop dropped this particular ability inside of the product itself. And it probably tells you a little bit about how old I am since it's been here a while. <laughs> so anyway, obviously in order to type on a path, we're gonna need a path. So I'm gonna start by showing you probably what most people grab and that's gonna be the ellipse tool. So I've already got it selected over here and I'm just gonna draw a circle. Now, just a really minor thing about the ellipse tool, if you didn't already know it, it's a little added feature. Um, when you have the ellipse tool, if you just don't have, see, no hands, mom. Um, if you just use your mouse to draw it, you can make it into any shape you want. If you want it to be remain a perfect circle, if you will hold down on your shift key, it will make it a perfect circle. And you can see no matter where I drag my mouse, um, my ellipse is a circle, not an actual overall or ellipse. So I'm just going to drop it there and leave it a circle. Don't worry about the the line or the the shape that appears. That is actually going to detach itself from what we're doing relatively quickly. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab my type tool. And I'm just using the type tool, a horizontal type tool. I'm not doing anything fancy. Um, in Illustrator, there's a lot of different tools for type, and there's some very specific ones for being able to do this, especially in the older versions. There's complicated things in there. But for here, we can just use the plain old horizontal type tool we've always used just to make simple type across the page. So when I drag my type tool over onto my page, you'll notice that the I bar has little dots around it. It has a square. If I move the I bar over here to the circle itself, that square turns into a circle. Now, if I were wanting to fill my circle with type, if I were to click here, it would do that. So this is typing within the shape, not on a path around the shape. And I think sometimes people get confused with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that layer into the trash and bring my eye bar cursor back over. What I wanna do is position my cursor so it's like right on the line of the path that I wanna type on. Now, wherever that cursor is positioned is where the type is gonna begin. So if I click here, it is gonna begin right at that spot. If I move it up here and click here, it's gonna begin at that spot. So just again to point out, notice that it's circle here and notice that it has the little swoosh here. So if I wanna begin right here to type my to do my type on a path, I just click and it's going to add the lorem ipsum around the edges. And then I can just, so there you go. It is just simply that simple to be able to add it to the ellipse. Now, once I click the check mark, my type and my ellipse are in two different layers and my layer panel over here. And I can just discard the um, the actual ellipse that I used to make the type, and there is my type. Now this is subject to the same manipulations that you can do with any layer that has type on it. And if you wanna manipulate it a lot with the different um, tools for being able to adjust um, like warp and those kind of things, you're going to have to make this, um, you're going to have to rasterize the layer into being something that you can move and shift around. I don't recommend that until you're at the very end point, if that's something that you're wanting to do. All right. So sometimes we don't, an ellipse shape is not going to work. <laughs> so we want to be able to type on like a pretty wavy curve, very similar to what that little swooshy mark on the eye bar looks when we're typing on a path. So in order to do that, we do need to use the pen tool, which makes an editable path for us. Now this is Bezier curves and these freak people out a little bit if they're not used to using them. 
please do not panic. It's actually pretty easy to use. And once you get used to it, actually, I still love it. Even though there's all these really cool AI features out in the world about being able to remove backgrounds, I still will use this particular tool to do a lot of work in my images. So um, particularly in graphic design where I need to have layer upon layer of image. But to use this basic little swoosh pattern, we're going to start by clicking and that's going to add a blue point to our canvas. Now that blue point does not going to print on anything. Um, and then we're going to come a little ways over and I'm going to click, hold and drag which is going to give me a curve and I can manipulate my curve in many different ways. And I'm just going to make it a nice little archy curve. And when I let go, then my pen tool is free again. If I can want to come over here and I click, hold and drag again, you'll notice it makes this nice little curve. So I'm not going to get into a lot about the Bezier curve tool because this is not what this tutorial is about. I recommend that you go look at tutorials for that if you're interested in using the path tool or this particular pen tool to a path is better. But for this tutorial, we're just going to grab our same text and come back over here. And you'll notice if I position the eye bar on the line, I get my text tool again with the little swish and I'm just going to click and there is the text and it appears all like nice like a swish. You'll notice that there's no graphic line over here. There's no extra layer beyond the type layer. So once I click that, I'll be able to see this blue swish, but that blue swish will not print in my final document and won't be on it because it's not really there. It's just simply shows me where that line is. And similar to up here to edit the type, all I've got to do is click on it. If I want to add things in the front, I can add things in the front. Um, and then I've got some directives here. If I have type that runs over or um, being able to move my type around on the line. So that's basically it. Really simple type on a path in Photoshop.